I'm Deep Mahaman and you're watching The Redman TV. Oh, welcome to The Redman TV. It's the uncensored match build-up show. Had Liverpool taking on the, yeah, the Premier League champions. Uh, Chelsea at Stamford Bridge, which is amazing. Um, yeah, Liverpool. Chelsea versus Liverpool, otherwise known as the week that Chris turns Twitter off. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is him. That's the one. The one off the vines. Good one. Uh, it's him, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, let's get on to the more serious topics, Chris. How much How much of a, a kick in the teeth is the guard of honour thing? Let's be, let's be honest. Massive kick in the teeth, isn't it? <laughs> I mean, why us? Why Gerard in there? It's just, you know what, they deserve it, champions, and we should give them a guard of honour, but it's still a kick in the teeth. And... <sighs> I just, yeah, I can't I can't test it up any other way. I, I think I think that's right. I think the honourable thing, isn't it, Lisa, is that you know to go. Well, look, if if it's the done thing, if they are the champions, then Liverpool are a club, are, are, you know, and the British Chelsea fans and Arsenal fans and Man United fans who've literally got nothing better to do since they finished the wank to come other than to come on and watch it, this video. But Liverpool are a classy club, and you know yeah, if that's a done thing. Sportsmanship and stuff, but it's just it's gonna be fucking horrible. Like, <laughs> but that's it. I, you know, dress it up all, all, all you want. I just. I just wish it wasn't us. I wish we didn't have to do it. I don't want to have to watch us do it. I hope my only hope, Ozzy, is that it gives the players a little fucking boost up the arse and, and says to them, Well, you know what? Let's let's great, we have to do this, we'll be a force to do this or whatever. Yeah. Let's clap them on the pitch and then go and wipe them off it. I hope so. Because we're all hoping this little facade that, that it's over now, they won the league, they're not gonna turn up the reds. Is that bollocks? They're gonna wanna fucking beat us. Hundred percent they wanna beat us. The rivalry that's built up over the last 10 years between these two clubs, we're probably the team they hate more than anyone now. Fans and manager especially. One fan in particular. They're going to... <laughs> <laughs> they're going to want to beat us just as much as if it was all riding on it and it was all still to play for. So this little facade that they're not going to turn up is bullshit. So we've got to be on our game because we said in the previous show there is that little bit of glimmer of a hope a top four that could potentially still happen. So we've got to be right on it and put the last few weeks to bed, think about to win and go and put a performance in. Like you said, clap them on the, onto the pitch, then fuck them on it. <laughs> <laughs> like Not like those people at Charlton, that was something else. Um, the, I, um, the, thing that's, the, the thing that's mad mm. about Chelsea fans for me this weekend is they wrapped the title up and maybe it's just because it was an inevitability. But I've seen far too many Chelsea fans either not properly being happy and celebrating or talking about Gerard and the more it's happy the that Gerard bastards and Liverpool obsessed. Yeah, that's Plain right, isn't simple, it? Yeah. Absolutely, and uh, I think that's and and there'll be a few going, no, we're not. They say yeah, what they're watching Red Men TV. <laughs> Hello, welcome yeah. along. Um, the, the first song they're going to sing on Sunday. Nailed on is Gerard slipping about yeah. them about they've just won the fucking league yeah. and nailed on the first song they sing is going to be about Gerard mm. absolutely yeah but it's mad for me because I mean um, it was Christian who's uh, footy writer was on yeah. 100% Chelsea this week doing like his celebratory video and I, I really like Christian I've worked with him aside from football I didn't know he was a Chelsea fan until no, this I week no I didn't know I yeah. <laughs> 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 right, but uh, you know he did this like we won the league but it was no there was no happiness to it there was no emotion there was no bouncing up and down three and then minutes he, 52 of him talking about Stephen Gerrard you see the picture on Twitter I think it was today or yesterday a picture of the cop was a Liverpool three games before they might win the league. Chelsea fans three minutes before they will win the league. I'm Every one of them. Not even me. asked. Yeah, yeah. I'd have probably been in my knack three minutes before we won the league. <laughs> <laughs> running on the top. And they're just... Oh yeah, we won the league. Yeah. Yeah. We'll be Steven Gerrard on these round there. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, I, I, I mean, to be fair, I don't, there'll be plenty of people saying it. You know, I haven't seen us win a league title for a very long time. So, you know, maybe maybe that's how you react. Maybe you react by being really introspective and quiet and then thinking about other teams' players. Maybe that's the done thing. Wouldn't be. No. Um, but anyway, we've got to play them. And, and, you know, they've been a major thorn on our side, particularly under Brendan Rodgers, because we actually had a really good record against them. Yeah. Prior to that, um, I, I think I just think more than any time, we owe them. Particularly because of the, you know, because of last season and, and and the things they've done to us this season, just one win, just just go go to Stamford Bridge and find a way to get a win. It's going to be difficult because I agree with Ozzy. I don't think I don't think Jose Mourinho will let them, you know, go out there and think they're on the beach. He he will want to beat Liverpool, and he'll. I'm just happy that they're not fucking bringing the trophy and passing that round as well because that would have been yeah. a double kick in the teeth. The saving that I did, they got Palace last game of the season or something. Yeah. Like that. Mm -hmm. 
gutted watching it the other day, thinking, please just lift it, lift it. And then I hear, they'll be lifting it the last home game against Palace. Like, Fuck for that. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been the biggest kick in the teeth. I don't, the guard of honour I can cope with, that would have killed me. Yeah, no, you're absolutely, you're absolutely right on that. It is, uh, but we do owe them one, mate, yeah. and, and we need to go out there. And we need to put a marker down for next season now. Well, how do we, how do we approach it? I mean, Lisa, would you just go there and just go fucking and, uh, and, and go for it, or would you, would you try to be like clever and 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 out? You just gotta go for it, haven't you? Yeah. Especially against them, you can't bear them. I hate everything that he's done. Isn't it mad how that's happened though? Because like there shouldn't be a great rivalry with with Chelsea. You know what I mean? The rivalries are you know Everton and United. Can't put it any other way. This is Yeah, it's absolutely right. Well, what would you do, Ozzy? Would you would you would you go go now? Would you would you try? Because uh, there's a real temptation, I think, to just to go and part the bus and play on the counter for us. But because I I can see them, I can't see them coming out and trying to play footy. They don't need to. Now that. Like we, we keep touching on this little glimmer of hope. Now that is there, I would go and fly and out Mourinho, Mourinho. I would because if we go balls out at them, especially while they're in the mood they're in, just won the league and all that, they'll take us apart. They will, they'll pull us apart because we haven't got the legs in midfield for one to do it. Because if they let us come on to them and then they hit us on the counter, it could be silly. It could yeah. get embarrassing. So we, we need to be a little bit more careful about the way we go there and I said, I'd go and fly out Mourinho, Mourinho, and fly and play them on the counter and draw them out. Well, we're just going to sit here, so yeah. you're at home, the onus is on you. I'd, I'd like to expand on that because I'd do exactly the same as Ozzy. And what Mourinho's done this season and why they're lead champions is because Mourinho goes into the big games looking for the draw. And that's the difference between every one of the other top managers. He goes there and he, he just snots every team below the top four and just goes and tries to get a point. They were to fuck for celebrating a point away at Arsenal as much as they did. I'd have been made up to a celebrator the point against them this, that time last season in exactly the same that way. That is the yeah. blueprint for how you win the Premier yeah. League. Yeah. And and we should be trying to we do it this week because next season we're going to have to go and I think that's the way we approach the league next season because yeah. we've not been good enough against the top four and we've been going at these sides. You know, we need to change something and I think that's the thing we need to change. I think we need to go and we need to box clever. Yeah. Would you, um, I mean, do you think the worthy champions? Yeah, I do. I mean, they've been... Top of the league since the second round of games. You know, they've broken all kinds of records to get there. It was Man United, 93, 94. They've just broken their top of the league for the amount of days record. I mean, they are deserved champions. And the way Mourinho's done it, on the back of a World Cup year and, and, and a short break and stuff like that with the players and, and proving that you don't need to use an entire squad. And everything about them this season, they've been brilliant because Mourinho, again, went out there, identified what they needed and they needed a striker, and they needed a creative midfielder, goes and gets those two players and blows the league apart. Yeah. You know? no, it's, and it's and that, 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 to me, is worthy champions. Because people are, people are giving them loads of stick, for, being, for basically boring the way to the title in the last couple of months, but fucking hell. I, I, we said this all along, I'd take 1-0 wins every every week if we could get a Premier League title at the end of it. Absolutely. Shattered it. Yeah, it's horrible. Like, but yeah, the RTC is of it, but it's just, Go on to Tina, do you reckon do you reckon we stick with Ricky Lambert up front? I think so, yeah. I think he's I think he'll prove himself definitely, just like I said before, he just needs to be given the chance. Definitely. And Any, he's not being given it. So. Anyone else you think would be nailed on? The little magician. I just love him anyway, don't I? <laughs> <laughs> really as much as If you want to find out how much because Lisa loves <laughs> love Tina <laughs> out the quick fire show this week. It's absolutely sensational. Um Ozzy, would you would you make any any mm. massive changes from from the weekend? Just ask. Are you based on fitness? Maybe you just asked the Ricky Lambert start, and it for Ricky Lambert to start that kind of goes against everything that I've just said about how I wanted to approach the game. Because if we're gonna play on the counter attack, Ricky Lambert can't play. There's no pace at the no out ball. So if we're if we're gonna play the way I want us to play, I want Sterling back in the false nine and Casino and Lallana behind them. I think that would be the best way to go and play them on the counter. Mm. I think people have forgotten that to some extent, don't they, Chris? I'd put Lucas back in the team if he's available, yeah. and um, you know, Ger- I'd, I'd, I'd rest Gerard. I don't think there's any there's any need for him. In. You still want him to give him the guard of honour? I don't. No, no, fuck him. Yeah, just drop him from the squad, mate. Shame, <laughs> spare him. Absolutely, stay at home for this one's team. If we up, get it on Cody, lad. <laughs> um, <laughs> take the volume now. No one hear this song. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But uh, you know the 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 
the best we've played this season, and we said this earlier on the season, get your best players on the pitch, and our, our best attacking players are still Sterling, Lallana, and, and Coutinho. We haven't had enough opportunities to do that in the last couple of months because of it, because of injuries. It's true, yeah. And, you know, Chelsea are not Newcastle United, so I don't think you'll be playing Coutinho up top. But I think there's definitely a place for for Sterling. And look, if you can get Coutinho and Lallana on the ball behind them, and Sterling running in behind, at the end of the day, John Teddy's been good this season, but he ain't got the pace to deal with Raheem Sterling. Yeah. If we're, if we're going to play four at the back, then I want the three in midfield, to be fair, <laughs> to actually be Lucas, Allen, and Henderson, because I think they're the ones who are most likely to do it. Do a job, but I could see a case. I could, you know, I don't think we will, but I, I think there's a case to be made to go back to three at the back if that's what we're. If we want those, if we want Sterling in a false nine, as it were, does that fit? Fit better? I think it probably does. Yeah, I mean, the only other thing I'd say is Coutinho played quite deep at the weekend, didn't he? Um, more of a sort of central midfielder, so I wouldn't mind him staying in that position. Maybe dropping like Allen or something. Maybe having a, a three of like Coutinho, Henderson, and Lucas or something like that, and then maybe, maybe even Ibe get him up there because there's if you want to play on the counter attack, Jordan Ibe going as Pellegrini. I think I'd be more inclined to bring him off the bench though. Maybe. We've seen what he can do off the bench last weekend, and I think what he thought of being a bit raw when he comes to start starting games and big games as well. But you never know. This is you know if players are going to be good, they need to stay. I, there's, look, there's a very strong case that Raheem Sterling should be rested. To be fair, yeah. he's been in poor form. It for weeks now, could do with maybe taking them off the firing line, give someone else, give someone else a go. Uh, you know, I'm interested in your thoughts on that. Let us know in the comments below. Look, what is your starting eleven? Who starts up front? Does Ricky Lambert keep his place? Would you try to out Mourinho, Allardyce, Pulis? You know, them <laughs> or whatever. Um, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, we've, uh, we've actually got a special competition this week while we're here. Have you got the, the prize just there? Uh, if you really noticed on Twitter and what have you, we've got a <laughs> score prediction league for Predictor. Um, every week we pick our score predictions for the week ahead. It's a competitive league, so you can go in there and you can see if you can beat us. And normally it basically means that you can beat us and then have a laugh at us. But this week there's a prize. Uh, we've got a signed. Do you want to show you? You want that? Yeah. Go on. In fact, you know what? At least I'll make it look better. Come on, you, you pass it pass oh, yeah. this year. Oh, <laughs> it's going to hold the certificate of authenticity. <laughs> uh, we've got a signed Robbie Fowler. I'm not putting it on. We've got a signed Robbie Fowler shirt um, from the 2001 season um, mm. from Score Draw. Yeah, signed by God himself. We've got the certificate of authenticity, Chris, just to prove that it's yeah, not it is. blagged. Robbie Fowler signing the shirt. It's not photocopies. It's definitely real. Uh, so yeah, it might be photocopied by the time you get it. <laughs> yeah, at least he's having that off. And the, I want to sign another day. <laughs> <laughs> I've got this Anthony Otalic shirt to sign, boys. Yeah, better get this yeah. back off and now. Yeah. He's a scouser yeah. after all. Yeah. Just, you just, have you just slagged <laughs> our entire up? Have you just, have you just slagged our people off there like you? Yeah, now Liverpool fans hate me. Is that well. like Woody Allen doing? <laughs> is that like Woody Allen doing Jewish jokes? Is that like we're allowed to? Because yeah, all right, nice one. Um, watch your car stereos, lad. <laughs> Dickhead takes scouse reputations back to the fucking eighties. Like anyway, uh, yeah, we've got our score predictor league. The person who comes top of that league this week wins. Ah, it's gone now. <laughs> Signed Bobby Fowler shirt. Uh, it's free to enter. It is free to enter. Absolutely. Always has been, always will be. Exactly. So go and get on that. The link to uh, to our league will be in the video in front underneath. And if you you missed that for any reason, because I don't know you. I don't know, you're blind or you have mental issues then it'll be on Twitter <laughs> throughout the week as well and you'll see what Chris's uh, and my scores are for the week <laughs> um, yeah boss prize get in it winner of your father's shirt it's as simple as that um, score predictions then Ozzy how's it going to go down 2-1 Liverpool yeah 2-1 Liverpool yeah definitely get it Chris mm, just going to be exactly the same and say 2 <laughs> <laughs> Um, one nil to Liverpool okay, then because he's shower a bastard. To <laughs> <laughs> get on the score that I can see. <laughs> I, 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 I want it. I'd love it to be. I just love it to be. I get a really scummy win. Really like like the scummiest. John Terry slip over and that, Lambert that, score a goal. That'd be lovely, but I mean maybe like Barini comes off the bench. <laughs> And and it, it takes a deflection of four people and goes through Courtois's legs or something like that. Like I mean, that'd do me swimmingly. Actually, you know, the race isn't over for the Golden Glove, is it? Courtois and Mignolet are both on thirteen. 
Wow. You know, your little one note prediction could see it. Could see it. I mean you like to score. <laughs> <laughs> and get the golden glove off the back of it. There you go. There you go, yeah. That all we all uh, it all it all goes tits up and we all collapse into a heap crying on the floor, like you know what I mean. But none of that. <laughs> <Better pass. laughs> yeah, uh, Leslie, score predictions in the comments below. As I say, check out our Predict the League this week to win a Robbie Fowler shirt. Any thoughts on starting 11 players you should be starting and issues in general? All in the comments below, of course. Uh, go and check out the redmentv.com. We've done our TV question time. We've done a final word, which is probably pretty outdated for you by now. You don't really want to talk about last week, but it was good fun. So go and check it out anyway. Uh, loads of extra content on the website from last week as well. We've got the extended director's cut of Chris's Dizzy Singing Pens. Uh, one on one interview with Cy Hughes uh, on his new book, Men in White Suits. And uh, Oh, and the, the extended Daniel Sturridge interview as well, which is amazing. I, I, and I know I conducted the interview, so it's blown me own more than, a little bit, but it, it, it's amazing. So Daniel Sturridge was good. He was, Paul, that's a good one. I made, I made him good. <laughs> He was so not ready. At least he's to put be one good performance in this season. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so there you go. Check out all that redmentv.com completely free for the month. You know this. Go and check it out. It's gonna be boss. It's gonna be boss over the summer. Get on it now. Uh, yeah, thanks very much for watching the shows and good night. Hello, welcome to Redmen TV. We have got a phenomenal prize to give away this week. Thanks to Vauxhall, who are the official UK car partner of Liverpool Football Club. We've given away some pretty good prizes so far, some sensational prizes in fairness, but this one is amazing, perhaps more so than all the rest. We've got two general admission tickets, two pairs of no less, to the Liverpool Player Awards, uh, and it's completely free to enter as well.